the fabulous and sexy Izzy Presley is taking over for me for the night. So enjoy and good luck. Hello, you crazy, sick fuckers! My name is Izzy Presley, and I am your unscripted, uncensored, loose cannon of a mega host for the evening. And what I lack in talent, I make up for in the cock. Nashville, how are we doing tonight? Come on, it's good to see you guys! Oh, yeah, dude, this is gonna be great. So Trey and Bo, funny, funny little fact here, the last show I played before moving to California from, La, from St. Cloud, Minnesota, was with Trey and Bo at the Red Carpet Nightclub. So this is great to see these guys. Ladies and gentlemen. Fucking Bo, get over here. So I guess the drummer's parking. Where's Paul? Paul, Paul Gargano, where are you? Come out here and say hi. Ladies and gentlemen, my co-host for the evening, he is my partner in pod on the Metal Edge magazine, another effing podcast. You know him from the VH1. You know him from the Metal Edge. And you also know him as Ringo Starr's stunt double in the movie Caveman. Paul Gargano, everybody! Hello, hello, hello. Don't even know how I can follow Izzy. <laughs> hey, the here. I just don't even know how I can follow. Every podcast ends with what? What I lack in talent, I make up for in cock. And every podcast, I go, will you please stop doing that? So this will be a long night for everybody. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Bo Lesovich, we've got. Riley Burke, Victor Aruda, Trey Gust, and is it? Max or is it Dave? It is Max. Somebody lied to me. Max, Max, give it up. Some fucking Van Halen.
this thing. All right, I'm just going to leave it down. And I can't read. So coming up next, we go from Van Halen to the police with Synchronicity 1, with Michael Moore singing, Cindy Shelton and Blackie Rye on background vocals, Mark Oakley on guitar, Chris Nix on guitar, James Cook on bass, I know James Cook, Tyson Leslie on keys, and Wes Little on drums. So get ready for the police. part one and next up if you're using your math part two so let us welcome on the guitars mr travis newman uh, on the bass guitar kevin vonderhofen tyson is on the keys and of course the drummer mr tom hurst and mr moore is gonna sing for you again so good oh my god i'm overclimped Come on, make some noise! Well, I thought if we're gonna do the first one, we might as well do the second one.
Synchronicity 3. We gotta make it up as we go along though, right? All right. <laughs> so next up we have, um, this one was picked by Michael Florial from When in Rome. He's gonna be doing When in Rome's The Promise. And it's gonna feature our very own Tyson Leslie on lead guitar and vocals, which I'm looking forward to. We have Yvonne and Cindy on background vocals. Just Yvonne. Oh, just Cindy, no Yvonne? No Yvonne, just Cindy. Just okay. Yvonne. No oh, Cindy. just Yvonne, no Cindy. Okay, just Yvonne, no Cindy. Uh, and then we have Jay Barkley on guitars, Chad Beach on bass, and Jack Irvine on drums. I have to cheat because I don't know the words to anything at oh, all. So I got this Axl Rose teleprompter down here. Oh my God, I'm so jealous. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and uh, I hit the wrong button earlier. Now I got to turn it back on because I'm, you know, I'm smart like that. So everybody's going to everybody's gonna know this song. It's one of the, I, in my opinion, it's one of the best songs ever written, really. And, uh, but it's not a metal song at all. <laughs> and we're like thinking like, should we do something and change it up? And, do, and then, and we talked about it and we started messing with it. And we're like, no, just leave perfect alone and leave it the way it is. So, let's see, that's on, that's on, that's on, that's on. Bass players. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's going on here? We got nothing. Oh, now you do. All right, well, remember when I talked about I was gonna mess up songs? I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm not gonna do that this time. Wait till later. You guys ready over here? You guys ready out there? All right, this, this is a song called The Promise. It goes like this. Michael from Win and Rome over here on the piano. Do you know it yet? If you need a friend, Look to a stranger and know it's the end. I'll always be there. But when you're in doubt, and when you're in danger, think look around. And I'll be there. If you know the song, sing with me.
songs I'm like what fucking song is this fucking De Niro down here gets it you talking to me talking to me no <laughs> and then they started playing I'm like oh fuck I know that song it was awesome I loved it I wanted to start dancing like Napoleon Dynamite it was great all right folks coming up now on the guitar Ronnie Greg on the other guitar Mr. Chuck Darn. All right. <laughs> Chuck, don't even try it. All right. On the bass guitar, Mr. Tyson. <laughs> On the keyboards, Michael Klaus Kluster. On the drums, Mr. Guy Hodson. Hodson. There you go. These, see, these glasses are actually readers. I'm a poser, but it's a poser with, uh, you know. Poser with purpose. All right, and on the fucking vocals, he's the one that picked this song from the front, Mr. Michael Francano. Francano, and I wrote the song. <laughs> hey, he wrote the song. Oh, it is I didn't realize it. I'm not that short. I didn't realize there were gonna be a lot of covers tonight. So hopefully, some of you out there remember this one from a few years ago. All right, before, before we do this song, I gotta say something. When I was in 10th grade and I was living in Wichita, Kansas, I, there, was a tape, there, was a, there was a cassette store, because I'm old, all right? They have fucking cassettes. They had those back in the day. And I, I, and I this, I, I'm from Kansas City. He's from Kansas City, right? So is this butthole back here, and so is this guy right here, right? And I was like, hey, if Michael, and, and it was like, like two weeks ago, Michael's like, are you in Nashville? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I'm in Nashville. I'm like, well, fuck, come play this show because I love your band so much and I wore this shit out like, I had to go buy it again because I wore it, I, my tape player ate it, okay? So this song is called Fire, it's so much fun, and check it out. Listen to me Let's run madly through the city Forget the eyes that look so fitting Your life will soon be simple and free yeah. Take my 
your soul on the ground all right. Nobody's listening. Okay. Uh, so this actually, this next one's very near and dear to me because it was picked by Dave Marshall, who was Vince Neil's original guitar player. And the first article I ever did for Metal Edge magazine was with Vince Neil. So this brings me way back. Uh, this one is PC or Action from Motley Crue. And it features Chris Vox and Billy Thomas from Hairball on vocals and drums. Tyson right here on bass. By the end of the night, I think I'm gonna introduce Tyson playing every instrument. I've already nailed two of them. And then like I said, we have Dave Marshall on guitar. So here's PCR action from Motley Crue and I'm coming outside to tape. Yeah. 
next, ironically, is Guns N' Roses, Paradise City. See how that joke worked out? See what I did there? Uh, this song was picked by Delana Scott, who's a staple at this show from Vane. Um, uh, and she also donates these great amps to us as well. See, now this is all, you, you're supposed to make us wait for about 20 minutes before you come up and sing this song. Don't you know how this works? All right, just kidding. All right, the lead singer, Mr. Brett Carlisle, on time. On time for Guns N' Roses. On time for Guns N' Roses. Uh, the background vocals, Derek Sibbett and Madison Pisani. All right, on the other guitar, Mr. Jacob Mann. On the bass guitar, Ashley Mitchell. On the keys, Tyson. Can we just not say your name because you're on every fucking song? Is that okay? Ah, kidding. And on the drums, Jay, is it Took? Took, damn it. So take off. Fucking Guns N' Roses, everybody!
So I've got my first tequila, so the wheels are about to fall off. Uh, <laughs> I already can't read because I've had six eye surgeries, so here we go. Um, next, we've got uh, the lead singer of Head East is doing his own song, Never Been Any Reason. So we have Darren Walker on vocals. We have, I just got added a name, let's see if I get it right, Shelly Loop and Daniel Bloom and Lily Harrison on background vocals. Freddie Francis on guitar. Jeremy Asbrock also on guitar. Curtis Clark on bass. Jeremy's not play, playing this one. <laughs> Tyson Leslie on keys. And David Northrup on drums. Hi, David. Uh, never been any reason from Head East. I don't know what they said, but how y'all doing out there? You guys, please remember, tip your bartenders and waitresses over here at Basement East because they have to work while you guys are wor not working out there. You're working on a drunk. By the way, we were arguing as to who was going to sing the other part. I was going to sing both parts. But we found somebody that's going to help out. Sherry Loop is going to be the uh, John Schlitt of the band. And I'm going to be Steve Houston. So just in case you don't know. I'm with Head East. I'm Darren Walker. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. Be sure to buy a t-shirt and help out with this great cause that Tyson and Basement East and Rare Hair puts on all the time. You guys make this what happens. Thank you so much for coming out. We love all of you guys. Thank you. Hopefully you guys know this song. Making sure. I, I wrote on the board for Tyson one time at a dueling pianos thing. Tyson, you got to do this song. It's the Dazed and Confused song. I don't remember that at all. You don't. Well, you were because really drunk at the time, probably. You were same. probably really drunk at the time. So you guys will know it. You guys need to help sing too, as well. All right? Who's singing out there? Let me see some hands. You guys can sing, right? Oh my God, Tyson, are you gonna play the big, big ass thing there? Are you gonna play that? Uh, not yet. Oh. I, I was, but I forgot to plug it. Oh, in. you forgot to plug it in. You know, nothing works if you don't plug it in. Just few, something to put in that little today. book that you have or whatever. David, you ready back there? Cool. Is everybody ready? Curtis, you good? Some head aids for you guys! Sweet love and better little white love. 
Saint, this gentleman drove here from Kansas City, and he brought me to uh, he brought me a case of Michelob Golden Light Draft, which you cannot get anywhere south or west of Kansas City. So he's officially I've officially changed his name to Mr. McFeely. So all you old fuckers out there, get that reference. All right, how we doing? We having a good time tonight? I know you are. Fuck yeah, I know De Niro's having a blast. Yes, I'm talking to you. Ah! Ah! Uh, I didn't come to Nashville to fall in love, but I think I might have. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise. This next song was picked by the drummer from Hank Jr., Mr. Lee Kelly. All right, on the vocals, Mr. Robert Wright. On the uh, guitar, Mr. Jeff Guthrie. G, G off, G off. I, I have to say G off, I can't help it. And you, you have your shirt on and you don't have a red cup, so that's good. That's a Vegas joke, only two people will get that. I don't care. On the bass guitar, Mr. Robert Wright. On the keys, Mr. Josh Rosen. Am I filling time? I mean, he's got a Cobra Kai shirt on, so this should be pretty quick. He's just going to sweep the leg and slide that son of a bitch right in there, right? <laughs> ah! Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, man. Dude, this is fucking great, man. I love Nashville. I'm just here for a couple days. I live in Las Vegas. And I tell you what, we had the rodeo there last week. And they always joke about this being Nash Vegas. Fucking Vegas was Nash Vegas last week, man. It was fucking insane. But it was great because there was country music playing in all the fucking casinos instead of the horse shit they usually play. So that was awesome. You ready over there? All right. I'm going to shut up and y'all you guys get to hear some Rush. Learning the 
dance to the beat of the old world man Learning to catch the heat of the third world man changeover because there's nobody on stage and I'm, I'm literally I will not do what Izzy does and go into a stand-up routine so I'm just gonna introduce the song uh, next we've got this is one that Tyson Leslie picked and he's gonna be on keyboards we're bringing back out Darren Walker from Head East to sing we have Sherry Loop Blackie Rye and Yvonne on backing vocals Zach Gonzalez and Seth Carlson on guitar Chad Beach on bass and Nathan, Nathan Sletner on drums. And it's Run, Run Away from Slade.
lay down and die now. <laughs> well, goddamn, son. I swear to God. That song is one of those songs, if you can't have fun with that song, just like the Copacabana, you just don't know how to have fucking fun, man. I love that shit. You guys ready for a double shot of the sweet? I know I am. I know De Niro is. De Niro's ready for anything. You got the blow, are you the, oh shit. Was I not supposed to say that on the microphone? I'm sorry. I'm talking to you? Yeah. Some gal just told me I look like uh, Les Claypool. She had a big brown beaver, so that's another story. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Ballroom Blitz is up next. This song was picked by the drummer, Mr. Mike Malinen. Malinen? Aye, Mal Malinen. Uh, he plays with Tanya Tucker. Uh, on the vocals, we got Mr. Greg Young. On the background vocals, Yvonne, Rachel, and Cindy. But she changed her name to Sin. Uh, the guitars, we got Sam Burse. We got Jack Irvins. And on the bass guitar, we got CJ Singer. Take it, Greg. Hey, thank you. Strange. I'd like to tell you everything I see
I'm always the first one out here. Oh. Somebody was tall. I like this. Oh, no, it falls. <laughs> it wasn't me. What the hell? I have one drink, and I can't stand up. What's going on? All right. Uh, so this next song is going to be your first surprise of the night because Tyler Warren will be on guitars and vocals and ask me not to tell you what the song is going to be. Uh -huh. So it's a little bit of mystery. I'm um, joining Tyler will be Cindy Lilly and Madison on backing vocals, uh, Logan Hatcher on bass, Tyson Leslie on keys, okay. and Justin Michael Ward on drums. So get ready for an awesome song. Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? Why don't you guys give it up for Tyson? So far away. I mean, we wouldn't be here without this motherfucker over here. I say motherfucker with the biggest amount of love. Save. Okay, cool. Also, if it's possible to get some more waters in the back, that would be awesome. <laughs> We're all like. It's <laughs> probably uh. a good idea. By the end of the night, whenever it's time for them to do their last song, oh, yeah, we got a song for you. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but we're going to try it anyway. <laughs> All right, anyways. I've known Tyson for a little bit now. And uh, he always, for some strange reason, asked me to do these things. And I always say, yeah, sure, let's do it. And this time he told me to pick a song. So I thought I'd pick a song by uh, this little upstart band in London that I play with. You may have heard of, they've uh, got some big things going for them. I think they're gonna make it. But uh, I got a request for you guys on this one because you might know this song. So I want you to sing as loud as you can, dance as much as you can, hands in the air and clap it as much as you can because you're gonna know it. Can I count on you for that? Okay, you're gonna have to convince me a little more. Can I count on you for that? That's a little better. I think you're gonna notice.
for applause. It's beautiful. How are we doing? Are we having a good time? I'm having a fucking blast. God damn. All right, so this next song was picked by the drummer, Mr. Greg Upchurch from Three Doors Down and the band Eleven, which song this song is by. The band this song is by. Yes, I'm using my words and my English, sort of. So, on the lead vocals, we have Jose. Yes. Ermanetta. There we go. See, the lighting, I can't read this shit. Tyson, bigger letters next time. Um, uh, the background vocals, Yvonne, Rachel, and Cindy. Change your name to Sin. On guitars, Jeremy Girth Brooks Barber. Ladies, don't get excited. He's just talking about his neck beard. Um, on the bass guitar, Mr. Josh Paul, and on the keys, Mike, Michael Kluster. Come on, make some fucking noise, Nashville! Hey, give it up for all the players tonight. It's been a fucking great night so far. Thank you, Tyson, for putting this together. This is my first rare hair. Thank you for having me. Yes. 
David Cook's band is picked White Lion's version of Radar Love. So not the Golden Earring version, the White Lion version. Uh, Curtis Anderson will be singing. Daniel Bloom and Cindy Shelton will be on backing vocals. Dan Weller on guitar. Donovan on bass. Tyson will be back again on keys. And Greg Upchurch is going to stay on the drums. So get ready for White Lion.
Man, it's good to see you guys, and uh, it's good to see everybody jammed in here, packed for a good cause. Thanks for coming out, and thanks to everybody that helped out uh, with this. As usual, all the backline guys and everybody doing their thing. All right, we're calling an audible, ladies and gentlemen. This is kind of weird. Uh, Blas and Dino, I need you guys to the stage right now. Brian Nutter to the stage right now. Um, and Curtis Clark to the stage right now. It's, it, this is something that came up and they gotta go. So Trans-Siberian Orchestra are in town tomorrow, and two of the guys decided to surprise us and show up and play a song tonight. And so we were in the back, and we're like, do you know this song? Uh, maybe, I don't know, do you know this song? Sure, we can get through it, for, you know what? So we're just gonna fucking throw and go. This is, 
This is Blas and Dino from TSO. You'll see them tomorrow if you're going to the show. Hi, Dino. It's good to see you, buddy. And, uh, and yes, yes, yes. So uh, hopefully Curtis got the message. And I know he knows this song because he's in a fucking white snake band. Keep on pushing, babe, like I've never known before. You know you got me spinning, child, faster than a bullet from a gun. You're a superstitious woman with a superstitious mind. Oh, I don't care. I can see you, baby. I can see it anymore. Oh, Lord. Keep on loving me like I've never known. Superstitious woman with a superstitious, superstitious mind, and I don't mind. I don't fucking care. So take me down slow and easy. Make love to me slow and easy. I know that I'm not in trouble. It's coming my way. Wrap me till I'm back to the bone. Wrap me till I'm burned.
God damn, son. Those TSO guys really know how to play their instruments or something. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. But the rest of us, we were hanging on for dear life is what we were doing. Dude, that was fucking awesome! We're at the point of the night where fucking my Sebastian Bach is coming out! You guys having a fucking good time out here? Dude, I'm having a fucking blast! You guys like fucking Bon Jovi? All right, kids. This is gonna be sweet. Um, I'm gonna introduce the guy that uh, picked this song last um, because he deserves it. Uh, on the on the <laughs> fucking lead vocals, Curtis Anderson, this some bitch right here, brother. On the background vocals, Yvonne, Rachel, Cindy, changed her name to Sin. On the guitar, Mr. Jack Johnson, Jake Johnson, sorry, Jake Johnson. Jake Tyson Johnson. on the keys, on the drums, Todd Owen. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, on the bass guitar. Uh, this son bitch is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He plays with the band called Bon Jovi. His name is Hugh fucking McDonald. I didn't know that was your middle name, buddy. That's good to know for Christmas cards and Whoa. such. That's cool, Beavis. Oh, yeah. I thought it was pretty cool, too. <laughs> How you feel? You still doing all right, Nashville? What a treat. Watching, uh, you know, it's always a treat. All right. <laughs> Phil's ready over here. Oh, you guys better help sing this song, man. I wore this tape, tape out. All right. I got this shit, dog. So the rest. I want to sing a few songs tonight. You guys know how to count? Two, three, four! I got the
I know that wasn't for me. I was like, what the hell? Um, so that was awesome. I'm very happy I did not look at what the songs were before I came, or I would have felt compelled to squeeze my fat ass into a large Bon Jovi shirt I don't fit in anymore. So that was awesome. Um, coming up, we go to one of my favorite singers of all time. If you haven't heard, he recently went back to TNT. Tony Harnell picked this song. It's gonna be Diamonds and Rust from Judas Priest. We've got Delana Scott on guitar, John Hurley on guitar, Ashley Mitchell on bass, and Daniel Duche on drums. Jokes are over. Thank you. Fuck yeah, dude! Anybody know who originally sang that song? There it is, Joan fucking Baez. You just got your ass rocked off by a fucking Joan Baez song. All right, so.
so this next song ah, features on the drums Mr. Mark. Is it Poise? Yeah. yeah, dude, I got it right the first shot. Fuck the Predators, by the way. I'm a wild guy. Yeah, dude. All right, on the bass guitar, Mr. Mark Caldwell. On the main guitar, Gary Gentleman. Ah, ah. Us gingers got to take care of each other. That's ginger pride. And on the lead vocals, Mr. Christopher Keller, ladies and gentlemen. Keller. Make some fucking noise, Nashville. Come on.
Ready for more Soundgarden? More Soundgarden? Later Soundgarden. That was early Soundgarden. Now we've got uh, on drums Jim Riley from Rascal Flats. He picked this next song. This is going to be the day I tried to live. Uh, it's Travis Warren on vocals, Andy Wood on guitar, Jonathan Trebbing on guitar, and Adrian Taylor on bass.
much. Thank you, guys. Halfway home. So far, so good. Is it all right? Jesus Christ. How in the hell do you follow that? I said, how in the hell do you follow that? Make some fucking noise, Nashville. Well, I'll tell you what. I tell you what, I tell you how you follow that. I follow, you follow that with some poison. I ain't bullshit neither. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us on stage. Remember how I told you I didn't come to fucking Nashville to fall in love, but then I met Madison. Madison is back! And Lily Harrison on the background vocals. We got Andy Wood, we got Josh Paul and Jim O'Reilly. And ladies and gentlemen, from fucking Poison! On the piano, keyboards, and main vocals. You know him, you love him. His name is Will Dowdy. Thanks for having me out here for this thing. good can I get a little bit of this vocal and that wedge I would love that you good Woodrow
street Like that is in an old bone rain Underneath the broken old day outside For you to read Jesus said he A man who waited a rich folk And see how the living it up Josh Paul, Jim Riley, Madison Pisani, Lily Harrington. Thank you guys. Thanks, Tyson. We love you. So we were just talking back there about how this next band's probably the most underrated band in music. Like all the musicians like them. They all have them. diehard fans and they never sold any records and it's a tragedy. <laughs> um, Mia Morris from America's Got Talent is gonna be playing drums and she picked this song. This is Jellyfish joining a fan club. Uh, Kevin Packard will be on vocals, Jeremy Asbrock and Tyson Leslie on guitar. Tyson's also going to do keyboards while he plays guitar, so that'll be fun to watch. And Mike Vargo on bass.
Thank you, Mary. We made it. Jellyfish forever. God damn, that's hard. That's what she said. Jesus Christ, he put that on a T and nobody took it. Fucking De Niro, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, big uh, shout out to Wade, uh, the guy in the Oilers shirt that bought me a beer. Unfortunately, it's not Wade Wilson because it would have been whiskey. We love Wade Wilson. Uh, you guys having fun? God damn it, I'm having a fucking blast, man. This next song is by the band Giant. You guys remember Giant? I fucking remember Giant. It was picked by the man that's playing guitar from the band Giant, Mr. Mark Oakley. Come on, make some noise for fucking Mark Oakley! On the vocals, Chris Vox is here on time, which is awesome! <laughs> Background vocals, Yvonne, Rachel, and Cindy changed her name to Sin. No guitar problem. number two, Chris Nix. We got the bass guitar, James Cook, Tyson on the keys, and Travis, do not call him Sean McNabb on the drums. Make some fucking noise for these people, come on!
uh, anyone out here fan of Saga? Yeah. All right, that's good. Because next song Tyson Leslie picks, he'll be playing Yay. keyboards. Again. Uh, on the Loose, Rachel Rodriguez will be singing. Yvonne and Blackie Rye will be on backing vocals. Chris Nix is standing on stage on guitar. Tony Nagy on bass. And Mark, I'm butchering this last name. Poise on drums.
hand to Mark Poise up there saving the evening. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Mark. Oh, thank you, thank you, Mark. Thanks. It's that time of the night, folks. Sorry, I can't help myself. The hat turns around, the engine turns over, baby. You guys having fun? You guys are fucking quiet. This is horse shit. I want to hear some fucking noise. I know we just heard a prog song, but that doesn't have to dull the crowd. Because right now, we got something badass coming up. The last time we introduced this song, on the bass guitar and the vocals, his name was Chips Enough. And it's all about the trim and cocaine. You guys doing all right? Tuesday night, great crowd. Glad you're here at The Beast, one of the finest music venues in this town, which is saying something. So thanks for being here. Tip your servers, your bartenders. Hell, tip your friends over. Just have a great time. I have to be up in five hours, so let's go ahead and count this off if we could. Look at those teeth, those eyes. Kind of little lips of eyes. She's got all the things you want. Such a silhouette, it's nice Makes you wanna kiss it twice She's got all the things you want and more In the back, plan so photogenic Magical hands, so soft, kinetic All the things you want Pretty isn't always nice Such a devastating price She said everyone you've ever wanted Offer up by someone on her knees In the mind of plans so photogenic Magical hands so soft and
Chris Nick's original. Jay Severett on the beautiful Sonos baritone. <laughs> Here's another song we almost know. Let's do it in the car. Hope you enjoy it as much as we will. Small chin chin and snuck up into the city. Stepping out the places and stepping the places. Ate all your razors while so pulling the waiters Talking about Monroe and walking on Snow White New York's a go-go and everything tastes right Oh, oh genie Ooh. Ha, 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 ha. Jean Cheney lives on his back Jean Cheney loves him his stacks He's outrageous Like a reptile, she loved him, she loved him, but just for a short while. So scratch in the sand, won't let go his hand. He says he's a beautician, sells nutrition, keeps all your dead hair for making up underwear. Oh God, damn, poor Grady. All right, two, three. Gene Gene lives on his back. I did not know that there was a the in front of Gene Genie. So, did anyone else not know that? Anyone? Crickets? 
Right. I did not know it was the Gene Genie. All right. Anyway, this next song, uh, Wes Little, who's played with Christopher Cross and Robin, uh, Robin Ford. I, yes, Robin Ford. I think. Uh, he's on drums, Wes Little, and he's picked Photograph from Def Leppard. We have Tripper Ryder on uh, vocals, Chris Nix again on guitar, Michael J on guitar, Tony Nagy on bass, and Brett Sandler on keys. I can't tell you how thrilled I am to be singing Arthur's theme by Christopher Cross tonight. I don't like it so noisy, so just raise your hand if you've ever been caught between the moon and New York City. Just me? All right, we got a few. That's nice. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Wes Little's hair. Wes Little's hair, everybody. You got hair like that, nobody's paying for your health insurance.
Give it up for all these people. How about it? You guys ever heard the uh, Jenny Lane, George Lynch version of Photograph? Jesus that Christ. That sounds like a bad idea. No, it's not. Oh, fucking uh-huh. Jenny Lane is a fucking god. I do love Jenny Lane. I'm soul. not going to lie. All right, so this next song is uh, a heart song that was a cover. A lot of people do not know this song was a cover song. It was written by a band out of Canada. I didn't know that, actually, either, man. And done before heart by John Stamos on the TV show Dreams. And then Hart did it after. True story. All right, well, Tripper, who just sang Photograph, is going to play bass on this song now. And uh, I'm getting my old man glasses out here. Uh, on the vocals on this song is Blake Gray. Okay. Uh, Blackie is coming back on the background vocals. Not Lawless. On the guitar, Brian Nutter. There's a porn joke there. Tyson. Hi. How you doing? Uh, it's good to see you. Jesus Christ. I'm like All right. Living. And on the, pardon me, I got distracted by an extremely <laughs> out of my league blonde. Uh, and on the drums, Keo Stroud. Did I get that right? Oh, Keo made it. Hi, Keo. Keo Stroud. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a song called Alone. I love this. Gals want to dance? I'm here.
Any Ronnie James Dio fans in the house? Yay! Uh, this next song is not a Dio song, but it's a rainbow song sung by Dio. Uh, Richie Blackmore's drummer, David Keith, picked this. He'll be playing drums on this. And Chris Box is going to come back on vocals. We have Jeremy Barber on guitar, Allison Dellinger on bass, and Jesse Peck on keyboards. So get ready for Rainbow. Oh, who's got a drink out there? Anybody? Anybody else like to drink? I like to drink. Here's, here's you guys. Here's your Rare Air 15. Cheers, everybody. Does this thing work? Oh, it does work. There's my, there's my voice coming out of the, uh, the various monitors. Look at that.
Father. God damn Chris Forrest, Jesus Christ. Yes. Don't forget your sack. I'm not clapping. For ah, you. and by the way, Girth Brooks is one of the greatest fucking Twitter handles I've ever seen in my life. How fucking, I love you too. Yeah! Dude, how badass was that? Holy sheep shit. God damn King Kong. All right, folks, uh, this next song was picked by a gentleman from the band called Autograph. <laughs> and his name is Jimmy Bell, ladies and gentlemen. Make some fucking noise. Come on. On the vocals, Curtis Clark! The band is singing band on vocals, by the way. You gotta hit that. Second note. guitar, Freddie Francis on the bass guitar! He could learn, he could figure out how to play the, play the lights, so he plays the bass. His name is Martin. Martin! Tyson on the keys. Hi. And Donald Keith, he has two first names. He's playing drums, make some fucking noise, Nashville, come on. You can do it. Oh yeah, by the way, this son bitch is an accept.
man, I've been sitting in that back room way too long. Thank you all for coming. It's great to see you. I flew all the way in from Connecticut to play this, so. Uh, you guys make sure you check out Autograph's new record. They just put out a new record a little bit yeah, ago. Yeah, we did. New record Jimmy called Bell. Beyond. Jimmy Bell. Another Connecticut boy right here. Well, not anymore, but. <laughs> yeah. Not anymore. We grew up together. Hey, there's another Asian here. Weird. Now there's three of them. It's what the hell's going on? Sorry, I had to. It's it's not racist if you do it. I, I feel like there's a, where's Jimmy? Jimmy! There, there is a lot of Connecticut on stage right now. Like, this is... I have a Connecticut tattoo. Representing Connecticut. A lot of Connecticut energy. So, yeah. So, uh, coming up, we're actually gonna... This is gonna be a Jimmy song. Uh, have you guys heard of Autograph? Never. Never. Have you heard of a little song called Turn Up the Radio? Have you heard of the state of Connecticut? <laughs> Sorry. All right, so on vocals, we're going to have Aaron Sparling, Jimmy on guitar, Kent Yamamuro on guitar somewhere else over here, um, Martin Motnick on bass, Tyson on keyboards, Hi. and Jack Evans on drums. That, that was closer. Nashville, how the fuck we do it? Hey, listen, before we start this set, just real fast, I don't know if you know it yet or not, but you're in a fucking rock show. I need everybody to come right up to the front. Get your asses up here. Come on, don't be shy, everybody. gonna make some noise. Are you still with us out there, baby?
for Jimmy Bell on the guitar, baby! This sexy some bitch looking at you, some bitches, right now. Come on. I'm fucking bullshitting. You guys having a good time? Oh my god, I'm having a blast. <laughs> I got two words for you, Minnesota Wild, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Actually, I'm old school, Minnesota North Stars. Fuck yeah. Anyways, so this song. What? Tyson. Tyson. Hi. This is Tyson. Tyson, would you like to take care of this because this was your choice? Yeah, sure. All right, very well. So uh, it is. It's, uh... About a year ago, almost, on New Year's Eve, I put out a brand new song called Burning Time. And uh, since Jimmy's here, Jimmy played guitar on the song. And uh, it's, we've never played it live before, so we're gonna, I figured this was a fun place to do it and try it out. And um, the song featured uh, Roxy Petrucci from Vixen playing drums on it. And, uh, which is the band that I play for, in case you didn't know. And then, um, uh, uh, this, Billy this, this shitty bass player named Billy Sheehan <laughs> played on it. He's, he's terrible, don't listen to him. Yeah, and then, uh, uh Todd LaTorre from the band Queensryche sang on it and did the lead vocal part on it. And we wrote it together. So, uh, this song's called Burning Time. My buddy Nico's gonna play, uh, uh, I, I played with Nico on the weekends uh, downtown, and I was like, this guy's a fucking badass. He's got to be part of this show. So I brought Nico into the mix a little bit. Uh, Chris Vox flew all the way uh, from Minnesota again to rock out for you, so give him some love. And we always love having him here. Way to give me the Todd Latour song to sing. Jesus. Yeah, well, you just said, whatever. Shut up. You're only one of the best singers I know, so fuck you. <laughs> this should be interesting. We've, we've never right, played this song before, and we didn't rehearse it, so we'll see how it goes. I'll see if I remember how to play it, because I, I haven't played it since last year.
How about that? Tyson Leslie right there, ladies and gentlemen, one of his very own burning time by the Tyson. Leslie Tyson's mercenaries, and I guess that's us tonight. Jimmy Bell on the guitar over here, kids. Michael Clister back here on the on the keys playing some uh, playing the John Lord organ right there. You can see uh, you can see Michael playing with Smash Mouth uh, any given <laughs> given time. So uh, this next one's gonna be awesome. Uh, do we have any Journey fans out there? Well, this next song has been picked by Jason Derlatka, who's the keyboard player for Journey. He's gonna be doing lead vocals. We've got Yvonne, Rachel, and Cindy coming back on background vocals. Zach Gonzalez on guitar. And by the way, this is so much easier when I light up the sheet with my cell phone, I can read. Um, Curtis Anderson on bass. Tyson on keyboards, of course. Uh, of course. And uh, Robert Ferenz on drums. This is gonna be I'll Be All Right Without You.
guys. Well, goddamn, son. I always say you don't fuck with the voice. You can fuck with the voice anytime you want. Give me a hell yeah. I got enough Steve Wises in me where I'm going to do this. It's so called Steve Austin. Give me a hell yeah. You some bitches want some rat? Give me a hell yeah. I said, give me a hell yeah. I said, give me a hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. All right. So this song was picked on guitar by Mr. Andy Wood from Rascal Flatts. Give me a hell yeah. Goddamn, son, you're in a country band. You want to do some rat? God damn it, I love it. <laughs> and that's the bottom line. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on the drums. And this stone cold is getting really bad, but I don't care. Tyson Leslie is on the drums. God damn it, I didn't see you back there. God damn. On the guitar, this son of a bitch, this son of a bitch is only 12 years old. And he's probably playing guitar better than I am right now. His name is Rocco. Give him a hell yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. I need a Steve Weiser and a Shawnee Jagermeister. Give me a hell yeah. All right. And on the bass, we got E.T. Brown. Give him a hell yeah. And on the lead vocals, ladies and gentlemen, this long-haired, skinny son bitch. His name is Brent Carmichael. Give him a hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah.
make some noise for Rocco, man! 12 years old, dude. We're all out of a job next year. Hell yeah, we are. Um, I used to manage Stephen Piercy, and he should play for Stephen Piercy. That was pretty amazing. But he might hate music after he worked with Stephen Piercy, so I don't know. Um, so this next band is actually a real band. Like, all three of these guys have a band together called Save the World. Uh, it is Dan Tracy on vocals and guitar. He plays in the Alan Parsons Live Project. On drums, it is a very old friend of mine, John Wysocki from the band Stained, X Stained. And we have Robert Wright on bass. Uh, they Mike are about to crush the immigrant song from Led Zeppelin, and I'm going to run out there to take. Hey, y'all, how you doing? Let's see where this comes up in the wedges. Can we get this one up in this wedge here, Mr. Monitor Guy? Pretty, pretty prillies. Check, check. It's kind of close. How we doing, Nashville? Let's give it up for Tyson Leslie for putting this together with all these wonderful people. Right on. All right, an old Led Zeppelin favorite of mine. Uh, let's do it, boys. Cool. Another one. Another one. Another one. Don't worry, I ain't bringing that fucking shit here. If you know, you know. God damn, make some fucking noise. That was badass. Made me want to go to a Minnesota Vikings game, and I love it. How drunk is Izzy? He's doing the whole night of so Cold Steve Austin. What? 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 <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this son bitch playing the drums, Jack Ivins, give him a hell yeah. Uh, on the guitar, this son bitch. Nobody wants to follow this son bitch because he's a son bitch on the guitar. His name is Dakota Dibbon, give him a hell yeah. Uh, the lead singer, oh, Brett's back. 
God damn, this skinny son of a bitch is here. Oh, Jesus Christ. And this song, and actually, I'm going to break character right now because, you know, that's kind of important every once in a while. This song was picked by the man on the bass guitar from the band Yellow Card. His name. God damn it, his name is Josh Portman. Give him a hell yeah!
All right. Uh, a little bit of personal trivia about this next band. I actually wrote the liner notes for their greatest hits record. Uh, this this uh, Tish Metadead from the Dead Deads picked this one. She'll be singing, and the song is Ashes to Ashes from Faith No More. And it's about to get a little bit heavier for the rest of the night now. So this is, this is uh, it's gonna get very heavy. Uh, we got Tish on singing, Dylan Williams on guitar, Jackson Epley on bass, Matt Heasley on keys, and Rob Mitchell on drums. They... Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Oh, it's time to bring it down a notch. All the notches. time we're all new to this. Rob's never played drums before. 
He did a great job. Thank you, guys. We love you. Oh, the Dead Deads are playing the OG Basement December 22nd, so please come see us. So Izzy made me come out and do two in a row because he has a man crush on somebody in the next <laughs> band. So uh, coming up, we've got Jack Gibson from Exodus pick this song. It is Saxon, Princess of the Night. Matt Farley on vocals. Max Fry on guitar. Jack on bass, obviously. And Dave Barad on drums. Short metal guys make me reach down and stuff. 
Dude, we ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. This song was picked by this some bitch over here. You're gonna get your fucking faces melted off. Dakota Denman, everybody. All right. On the drums. Daniel, everybody singing with me. Mama, let the boy play some rock and roll. Jazz is much too crazy. Nobody knows Doucette. I guess it's a Canadian thing. Daniel Doucette, everybody. All right, on the bass guitar, Mr. Robbie Creed. And on the other guitar, and the vocals, everybody say it with me. Double down, double down, double down, double down, double down, double down. Ben, double down! Go to fuck that, Ben! Yo, what's up, guys? We kind of we kind of throw a little surprise in here for you guys. This is the first time in two years that uh, us four have been on stage in yeah, in a very long time, you know, two years. So right now, you're gonna get an old Devin song too. That sound all right? All right. I haven't gotten to say this in a long time. Are you ready to fucking blast that now? Let's go.
Did that wake everybody up? There is a lot of Red Bull backstage right now. Um, <laughs> and it's about to get heavier. Uh, this next one was uh, picked by Josh Paul, who used to be in Daughtry and Suicidal Tendencies. Uh, it features Ryan Keeling on drums, Tyson on guitar, and Nico Santoro on lead vocals. He was also in Suicidal Tendencies, and he's in the band Darkest Hour now. This is Rage Against the Machine bomb track. Is everybody still awake out there or what? Because I'm fucking tired as shit. I can't hear you. Are you still awake, Nashville? That's fucking right, man. Thank you guys for sticking around. It's been a long goddamn night. Let's fucking do this shit. Let's 
Fucking Tyson Leslie over here for putting all this shit together, man. What a goddamn animal. Thank you guys, man. Holy crap, you guys stayed for the very end. Look at you. One more song left. <laughs> goddamn, son. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this last song, this is the last song of the evening. So, ladies, this is your last chance to drink this in. Um... Drums, we got Ellen Jones on the bass guitar, Brian Shorter. On the second guitar, Jeremiah Scott, and the vocals. And the main guitar. This guy picked this song from Living Sacrifice. His name is Bruce Fitzgerald. Before we do this, I just want to say really quick, thank you, fucking Nashville, Basement East. Thank you, on behalf of Tyson Leslie, on behalf of Paul Gargano, and behalf of myself, and everybody that played here. I'm sure Tyson's gonna say goodnight after this, but I don't care. Thanks for having us! Fuck yeah, my name's Izzy Presley! I love you, Nashville! All right. <laughs> Not quite, but you know. Thank you guys for sticking around. This is the last one, so let's make it count. Let's hear it for it.
awesome and it's also fucking awesome that you guys stuck around all the way to the end thank you so much for being here tonight just you know let everybody know about the show come back and see us uh, we'll be back doing this sometime in the spring probably Mar March or April or whatever and uh, go home get some sleep <laughs> we'll see you next time thanks so much good night everybody and Leslie and we're coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee. I started this thing back in 2015 called Rare Hair. Rare Hair was birthed as a result of my participation in a monthly jam called Loud Jam. 
Now, Loud Jams is the brainchild of one Tom Hurst. He's not a household name, but in Nashville, among musicians, he's known as the guy who brings people together, and that's always a concept I could get behind. There's nothing quite like a room of extraordinary musicians getting together to perform music we all love and grew up on. And while Loud Jams is like an extremely eclectic Spotify list on shuffle, Rare Hair narrows the material down to one simple concept. Rare Hair was initially going to be a band, a band that played deep cut hard rock and sunset strip based heavy metal from the bands you would see on Headbangers Ball from week to week on MTV back when they used to play video. But the band didn't happen and it just didn't seem like something that would draw people very well by itself. I am so happy that he brought all these people together that love this music so much. So after I played for a few months in Tom's Loud Jam series, I realized that the players were mostly my age at the time, and they all probably grew up on the same stuff I did. So one day when I was on the Tracy Lawrence tour bus with Tom, during a time when I was trying out to play in Tracy's band, I brought the idea up to him. A few months later, the first show was booked at Douglas Corner on January 11th, 2016. Thanks to my friend Brandy Goldsboro, I was connected to players like Eric Brittingham of Cinderella, Paul Taylor of Winger, and Anthony Corder of Tora Tora, and was able to get them to perform in their very first show. Even my friend Tori Stoffergen from Enough's Enough flew to town and came to play. But there's something also remarkable about seeing guys from Taylor Swift's band playing Dangerous Toy songs, and people who play other genres for a living coming in and loving playing these deep cut weird songs by bands like Kingdom Come, Love Hate, Dokken, Warrant, Bang Tango, and the like. Over the past five years, we've done 12 Rare Hair shows in Nashville, and two Rare Hair shows on the Monsters of Rock cruise which features all of those bands that we used to grow up and watch. We've even had full feature band performances from Faster Pussycat, Enough's Enough, and Exodus, and appearances from people who recorded the songs. People like Mr. Big's Billy Sheehan, or Nelson's Matt Nelson, Dan Huff from the band Giant, one of the most recorded guitar players in history, got to play a giant song with his son Elliot at one of my shows and that was an amazing night. We also have had members of Kix and Skid Row, Vixen, Megadeth, all kinds of bands. We've even had guys from like Florida Georgia Line, Jason Aldean's band and Chris Daughtry's band and all kinds of side men from the country music world and jazz musicians, orchestra musicians, and former members of even Beyonce's band have been in the show. We even had the Trans-Siberian Orchestra band in the audience watching our players play a Trans-Siberian Orchestra last Christmas. It's one of the most magical things about doing these shows in Nashville because there are so many professional musicians that live here. People from the LGBTQ community, as well as young and old, everybody from someone pushing 70 years old to teenagers who have only been playing guitar for a few years. All of these people have donated their time and their talents over the years to come and play one song, maybe two songs, and just celebrate and enjoy each other's company and play music that we love. Another thing that we do at the Rare Hair Show is we pick a different local charity every single time we do a show and donate the proceeds to that charity. Some of the charities we've donated to are St. Jude's. We work with companies that deal with suicide prevention. We've donated to Best Buddies, which is a company that deals and works with people with Down syndrome. We've worked with a company that takes in senior dogs and adopts them to families and takes care of all of their medical bills. And most recently, we work with a company called the Oasis Center, and that is a company that helps keep people off the street provides counseling, homeless shelters, drug and addiction counseling, and all kinds of things under one umbrella. It's one of the most magical things about doing these shows in Nashville where so many people are professional musicians. Rare Hair, it's a hell of a party and we throw it three times a year. So I hope to see you at a show soon. Thanks for watching. 
Tyson. This is Dana True over at Oasis Center. I just wanted to thank you so much for your generous gift. Wow. Um, really blown away by it. Um, I can't tell you how much it means to us. Thank you so much.